friends, neighbors, and of course, the ever popular and oft underappreciated YouTube comment section. Hello, and welcome back. Uh, today, we are going to take a look at PowerCon connectors. My god, Nortrick finally revised the NAC3FCA connector. Um, I was kind of wondering when this was going to happen. I mean, I feel like, um, at least in, in, in our world, we're getting more and more requests for True One connectors and less and less requests for power cons. Um, so the NAC3 FCA connector is now replaced by the NAC3 FXXA hyphen W hyphen L connector. So, um, they finally phased these out. Um, I, this is my last remaining one. I figured I would shoot a quick video on it just to, to show inquiring minds if you happen to be searching for this kind of stuff, what the difference between the two connectors are. Um, I made a video previously showing some of the differences between PowerCon and True One. If you'd like to check that out, just go ahead and look at the upper right hand corner of your screen and you can see that um, okay so let's break this down uh, component by component uh, the w designation on these i believe means that they are ip65 rated uh, for that level of of waterproof um, so looking at the the back shells here um, this is the PowerCon. This is the revised one that has this black ring on it. Um, I don't think that there's a gasket per se in this portion, um, but there is a sort of pseudo rubber one uh, that's this piece right here uh, into this, making it making it waterproof. Does it say IP65? No, it doesn't. Um, so the back boot is relatively the same, just just sort of revved. Um, with the original PowerCon, you got two uh, cable clips on the back that went on the back of the cable. Um, the uh, black one was for thicker cable. The white one was for thinner cable. Um, with the, uh, the new revised one, you get this sort of funnel badminton looking thing. I, I think it looks like the uh, aerial refueling thing that goes and gets planes for, for mid-air refueling. And basically the idea is uh, as you tighten the back boot of the connector, this part compresses against the cable so you can fit a variety of cable widths. Um, looking at the shells here, again, this is just, you know, basically the connector sort of nut, bolt, whatever, male, female side of that uh, for the, the regular PowerCon and then for the revised one. You get a QR code. What does it do? I don't know. Uh, and then you get this. This is rubber now. This this blue part is rubber, which makes sense because um, this part right here is is sort of a, a pseudo a pseudo gasket, which is pretty cool. Um, looking at the connector, its body itself. Uh, this was always kind of one of my problems with uh, with with power cons. Um, this screw right here is actually a posi drive. This isn't a, uh, a Phillips, this is a posi. Um, and basically the way that it works is there's a, uh, a collar like this. You stick your cable in here like this. And then there's a piece of metal that goes down. Whoop. There's a screw that goes in here and it forces a piece of metal down. So the way that it's, and that's what, what, what clips the cable in. So I'm just gonna sort of hold this right here and do some zooming. Whoa, so you can see what this looks like. Um, and the problem is, if you're using a, a 12 or a 14 gauge cable in here, it, it works really good. If you're using a thinner gauge cable, it, the, the likelihood of it pulling out is, is pretty high. And then you know the same thing too is if you're using this back cord grip, if it's not getting enough of a bite into the cable jacketing, you can pull it out. Um, I've pulled apart a number of these connectors over the years and to, to find these screws loose uh, because the thing that's really killing you is if you're not using a posi drive uh, screwdriver, um, you're, you're not getting the maximum amount of tightness that, that's happening on there because it can slip out because it just is an inherent thing. So I, I keep this little Klein uh, multi stubby screwdriver with a thin tip specifically for um, uh, building power cons. Uh, you might be asking yourself, even though I know that it's a uh, posi screw, I'm still using a Phillips. That's correct. Glad we're on the same page. 
Um, so looking at the revised um, PowerCon or uh, connector here, this is mirroring the uh, the true one now. So in the PowerCon versus True One video that I did, I, I showed that the way that the True One works is there's basically a, a tapped collar like this that has a, a tapped receptacle that has a screw that goes in it. And as you tighten the screw, it basically pulls the collar up and it traps the cable in right here. So there's a divider and it traps the cable up just like that. There's a lot of special effects on my channel, I know, a lot of hand motion. Um, this um, uh, this PowerCon connector is essentially is, is doing the same thing. Um, my only uh, my only issue with this is they're using a uh, a hex drive in here, whereas the uh, True One is a Torx. This is a hex drive, so this is a Torx screwdriver, and it works in here. But it's not it's not a Torx. So I mean, it would make sense to me that if you're going to rev this this little um, this little set screw in here, that you would. You know, you make it the torque screw, just like the uh, the true one. But I I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. So I mean, again, if you tighten this up, it's uh, is is not taking that same collar design. It's also taking the the folded piece of metal. So instead of it being just exposed like this, it's just enclosed more. So I don't know if it's gripping the cable any better. Probably. You know, in, in some, I, I would imagine that some engineer probably figured out that it's gripping the cable better, but um, I don't know. I, I don't have enough of these in, in circulation yet. Uh, this is mid-September of 2023. Uh, we, we finally ran out of inventory on our power cons and our old power cons, and we're getting into the new ones. So anyway, if you have a, oh, I should show you this. So the way that this connector builds the new one builds. It's the same basic uh, tab configuration in here. Um, I don't want to get that stuck in there. So on the side here, these, these there's these little collar pieces. So your airline cable little guy does lock in here, which is pretty cool. So if you want to build the connector with no cable, and it, it does feel good because it's got a little gasket in there. So it It does go like that. The only tricky thing is when you are building the connector, you kind of have to shove this all together just like this, and then you you build it down, and then it you know it just goes together like that. So anyway, that is the new PowerCon connector. If you'd like to see a build of this, uh, building a new cable, um, check the upper right hand section of your screen um, and uh, and check that out. So anyway, if you have any questions, as always, please just leave a comment below and I will happy, happily answer this in any way that I can. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a great day.